Welcome back to another episode. This week we are going to explore the Golden Highway. But first, let's check out this national park. We were having lunch in Scone and while we were there we were sort of just having a bit of a play around on Wiggy Camps and saw that there was a Walsh Pools campground just up the road. So 20 minutes up from Scone. Not a bad little road, a couple of washouts because the end bit's just a bit of gravel. But uh, we're in this uh, very scenic, nice and green little camp spot. There's a little bit of Telstra here so we were able to sit on top of the car and get enough to make the booking. But otherwise, um, yeah, it's a fantastic little spot. It's uh, segregated by big sort of tree logs. So there is, you know, individual bays, but you don't book which bay. You just come and take whatever's there. This is like it's come out of a hot spring. I don't know why my wife's not swimming in this. There you go. This is... Go on. <laughs> I am more than prepared to watch him go in and I will film it for all of you as well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe we wait until it's super hot outside. thinks that he can cross the river. So let's see. Do not wet everything on my GoPro. Coming. Okay, there's a difference between a full-blown professional hiker, you're looking at him, and amateur hiker. Amateur hikers over there, professional hikers will cross dangerous cold rivers. Sometimes you just need your own time. And sometimes if he wants to go off exploring, and I didn't really feel like it, and me the shits today then I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy some peaceful time I want him to fall but I don't want him to wet my GoPro Check out the view from our bed this morning. This is our view. What a view. Does your bed have that view in the morning? Well, it could. Sadly, it's time for us to leave, but we're excited to see what this new day brings. And what sort of faces can you see in the background here? Just faces? What? faces? I don't really see any faces. There's I some know. big bulging rocks. There's Probably like... a bit like my gut. There is like um, holes. I want to know what has caused the holes to fall out of it. Like, you know, this looks like a boulder has fallen out of the cliff. But it's prob okay, we stopped at Battery Rock for some lunch just outside of Mirawa, or just on the coast side. It's got these awesome little rock formations. They look like um, house stumps or pillars, just the way that they're like carved out of the rock. They look like they've fallen down or you can go and get them and whack them in as fence posts, pillars, you name it. It's on an awesome little creek. Uh, they do say you can camp here, but it's not really that big. So we just called in for lunch. It, look, it is worth calling into. Definitely are worth calling into this spot here. Okay, this is a bit of a new one, even for us. We are camped at Mirawa. There's two free camps in town at Mirawa, which is pretty cool. Uh, one's um, behind the RSL. It's pretty small. It's just like a house paddock. Uh, 
and it was pretty wet. There was a couple of vans in there, but there was a fair bit of water everywhere. But we saw on Wiki Camps that there was also one behind the golf club. So we thought, oh, we'll come check it out. Look at that, beautiful grass views. And you can see right behind me, we have the silo art. So looking out our bedroom window, we have the gorgeous silo art. How nice is that? And we're the only ones here, so we've got it all to ourselves. So we went to open my door. Sometimes my door wants to lock, sometimes it doesn't. And we went to open it at Mirawa today and it wouldn't open. Kane jammed it open. And then we drove around here to try and fix it, but the lock is just jammed shut. It won't open or do anything. So it's on the side of the road trying to fix it. You're filming me doing some work, so I can't do any swearing. <laughs> yeah, so you can't rouse at the <laughs> wife. Because they can clearly see that it's not her fault. I know it's not her fault, but deep, deep down, <laughs> I think somewhere along the line she looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> See? And that is why I'm filming it because it's always my fault. Even if he got stuck in a big mud puddle, it's my fault because I didn't want him to go in there so he didn't go as hard as he should have. Always my fault. Okay, it looks like the central locking door has jammed because of the little catch has broken. So I'm going to try and make a new one out of a connector. I'm going to strip it apart. So that's the guts of the connector. I've just got to open it up to try and wrap it around the cables and then screw it back in and we'll see if that works. How the hell do you think of this stuff? That's just not something I would even fathom. I'd go to a shop and just see if I can buy another one. <laughs> I don't think they're going to have central locking in mirror. I don't know what it looks like in there. Got a camera view. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you. It's a fine line videoing Kane doing this because if I get in his road. God help me. Don't get me wrong, he wants to do some yelling. <laughs> so yeah, the moral of the story is, don't get away early. We got away early from camp this morning and there's always shit that happens when you get away early. So sleep in, take your time, don't get away from camp early. That's my tip. Hey cool. and check it out. Oh, hang on, we're going a bit on the lock. It works! You are kind of smart. Oh, I thought you were going to say sexy, but smart's <laughs> good too. <laughs> okay, so plans have changed a little bit for today. First time on this trip and we haven't been able to get into a campsite due to rain or the road closed. So we we're going to go to Spring Gully Campground, which is in the Goulburn, I think Goulburn National Park. Yeah. And um, the road we we're going to take the, is closed because the river says when it's been raining, the river's over. So whether the bridge is broken or the river is just over the road, not sure, but plan B for today. So we're just gonna head towards Dubbo and have a look around. Might be able to see some more silo art, which would be pretty cool. And find somewhere. We've got a bush camp out from Dubbo that we're going to try. So if we don't find anything else between here and there, that's where we'll be today. We'll check in as we're going. Kate's a bit disappointed. He, he really wanted to go there. He did want to go there, but that's life. We just take it as it rolls. So. I'm just, I'm on the big highway with all the trucks, so we're hooking. 
Okay, so we pulled up just to let a few trucks go past at a truck rest stop. It's called Cassilis Park Rest Stop. And if you need a place to camp, this is pretty awesome. There is a huge amount of space around here that you can pull up like heaps of vans and we can still be out of the trucks road. So it's a little bit early for us, which is a bit of a shame, but um, beautiful area. Okay, I'm not allowed to say that he doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> he found a dirt road, which I thought was just gonna lead into old mate's place. But come check out what we've actually found. We have found fields of canola. How cool is that? This is super awesome. I can't wait to see the drone footage. But check this out. It's so beautiful. And the clouds in the background. Kane has outdone himself for this one. I will give him that. Well done. Hey Kane. What do they call this, the Golden Highway? Well, to be honest, I actually wasn't sure to start with because I'm a bit of a potato head. And while I'm flying the drone around looking at all the golden canola fields, I thought, oh, hey, you nailed it. They call it the Golden Highway. Yeah, good one, good one, yeah. And that is why it's called the Golden Highway. Check it out. Well, sometimes if you can't get to a campsite due to flooded roads or bridges out or something, uh, there's always a positive light at the end of the tunnel. I really wanted to go to that camp spot, but as you can see, we found some canola fields on a dirt road that we went down and had an awesome time filming it. So yeah, there's always positives. So if you're traveling on the Golden Highway, be sure to stop in at Dundu or Dunny Do or June Do don't really know there's 50 million different ways you could probably say that but um if you do check out the lions park have a look at the sculptures there and the silo art which is behind me it's pretty impressive nice little stop over for lunch after spending all day traveling the golden highway we finally found a camp at Meandoran rest area it's a free camp it's even got toilets dump point and right by a river we might spend a couple of days here i think I'm not going to add any spices or anything, I'm just taking the bacon out. So while we finish off this wonderful tea, how about you guys give us a like, subscribe and follow us along for more of our great adventures. Jeez, what have you been eating for breakfast? Oh no, if we lose keys, I'm just going to poop them. But, um, stay clear of wives. <laughs> oh, scared me. You don't make friends with salad. You make friends with bacon. 